coming to the intersection that a lot of people fear there's no green arrow so what do we do so we can get in the middle we give way to traffic and then proceed I can go before the black car so no problems now don't look away from hazard so you do have to pay attention also when you get through just make sure that you check and see how long it took that car to get through that point. So this guy is for people who don't have experience. That way you can cross-reference your experience, what you saw just then. You can even count as you cross the path of oncoming traffic, you can check the rear view mirror, so you can, you can pay close attention to it and even count one. To, to work out you had for example four seconds before that vehicle got there so that is really important so that way you will have a lot better judgment when you know you should you should proceed when you shouldn't you know, you'll be judging the speed of other cars a lot better and, and their distance of course here again we have the uh, intersection where there's no green arrow if people argue that they should change these intersections I don't see the reason why they should change them because it is as simple as give way. So imagine if, if you're turning on, on the street where there are no traffic lights at all, give way to traffic from the opposite direction. When it goes green, if there's no traffic from opposite direction, I'm just going to slowly proceed. But now I have to give way to pedestrians. So I had a question recently about this one. I have to give way to pedestrians even when I'm turning at the lights where there's no green arrow. Somebody got failed here at West Perth. They complained how the, you know, the traffic lights should have priority over the pedestrians, but that's not how it works. So they had a green light as well. Don't cut into the opposite direction lanes before the pedestrian has cleared the way in front of you. Pay close attention to what I'm doing. This is how we teach people to proceed through the intersection without the green arrow with one single green light. First of all, don't overshoot the line, so white line you can't overshoot. So wait until the light changes to green. If you are the first vehicle at the lights, you can proceed in the middle and uh, your front bumper should not go any further than the median strip on that side. And also we can't cut into the opposite lanes because both of those lanes are proceeding straight. So it looks like I'm going to be able to go through between them. It's changing anyway, and the traffic there is slowing down anyway. By the time I got in the middle, they almost stopped. Again, I'm giving way to pedestrians. Okay, so now I can proceed. So be careful, especially if you're doing a driving assessment within the inner city surroundings, um, such as West Perth, and even nowadays in Kennington, in Midland as well. So I'm turning right here again. It's the same scenario. We have to give way to pedestrians, but this time pedestrians have red light, so they can't be crossing. We still check around just in case. Green light, okay. So proceeding through, there's nobody from opposite direction. So ask your instructors, if, you, if you're doing lessons with your instructor, ask them to take you through these situations at least about, you know, twice a lesson. If you're doing one hour lesson, and, and if this is something that you can't do well, and you consider yourself to be sort of intermediate stage, just ask them to go through the lights where there's no green arrow. So watching videos is not a substitute for driving so you have to understand you have to physically do this it's important to know that in your driving assessment if the assessor gives you verbal assistance it will be considered as a physical assistance because that at the same time they will discontinue your driving test there's a car from there but I can go before them now I keep it on my mirror and it's just turned behind me so it took it about I'd say about a good four seconds. Another vehicle behind me could have gone through. Another one of these. So I'm going to get in the middle of the intersection and I can sit here until the light changes. It's still obviously green light. Now I can squeeze through. The pedestrians have just gone. Okay. So in West Perth, within 
two kilometers radius you have about seven separate situations separate traffic lights where you can practice this do not practice this if you are unfamiliar with the rules and procedures and what's safe and what's not safe to do without a professional instructor who can operate not only who has the dual controls but who can effectively operate them